you can win a 5,000 euros or 3,000 euros camera. DxO is arranging a draw. Hi, it's Peter here. I will discuss and tell you all about that competition after I've discussed Viewpoint 4. Their software for correcting perspective and other things in an image. And a disclaimer. DxO provided me the license for Viewpoint 4 a few weeks ago. I've used it before, but I haven't had the newest version of Viewpoint, which is 4 at the moment. And of course, like always, they did not tell me to do this video, nor have they seen it before or said what I have to discuss in this video. So everything I say is based on my own opinion and my own experience using Viewpoint in the past and now again the newest version, Viewpoint 4. And about the competition too, there's, I have to say a disclaimer, I have nothing to do with the competition. So if there's any concerns or any questions, direct them to DxO customer service uh, directly. I only wanted to make this video and tell you about the competition, but I will discuss that a bit later. And I went out and took a few images for this particular video so that I have some new content to make the perspective and other corrections with viewpoint 4. And you know, it was nice and cold out there, but I would just wanted to get out of the office and, and do some photography. I had a lot of fun even though I was just walking around in the cold. And DxO viewpoint and file formats. Unfortunately, viewpoint does not support raw files. So you have to convert the files first to TIFF or PSD or JPEGs, which is not the most convenient way. But the good thing is that it works as a plugin for Lightroom Classic and when you launch it from here, then you can choose which uh, file format you will convert the image to. I know this is not the most convenient way, but that's the how or that's the way it works. And you can also choose the color profile and also the uh, bits, the bit depth and also the DPI if you want. And then just press this and then it would launch viewpoint 4. And the tools. The toolbar is here and if you don't see it then just go here and press this one and it will appear and you can move this toolbar around and place it wherever you want. If you have two monitors you can place it on the other monitor. And then the one good thing about or actually the best thing in DxO software is that it uses their lens and camera modules and viewpoint 4 does that too. So you click here but the workflow is slightly different. You need to open the original image where it reads the metadata. I don't really know why it cannot use the metadata in the TIFF or PSD or JPEG file. Maybe it strips it out when it's uh, transferred to viewpoint 4. I think this is something that they could correct but they haven't done it yet. But anyways you open that and then it will automatically correct and of course next time you use the same camera lens combination it's there automatically you don't have to do this again. So in that sense you only have to do it once per lens and camera combination. Correcting the volume deformation. When you're taking an image with a, uh, a wide angle lens or super wide angle lens the corners are stretched usually. There's, if there is anything in the corner it will be a stretch and the shape will be more like an oval instead of round or something like that. And this is especially bad if there are people in the you know, edges of an image. But with this software you can correct that. As you see from this image of the water tower here, it's uh, kind of skewed and deformated or is that a word? I don't know. But you know what I mean. With this tool you can correct it and it's a trial and error. You you need to tweak the, the settings so that the object that is in the corners looks the way you want it to look or it looks good and pleasing to your eyes so there is no deformation anymore. And I think this is a very powerful tool and this is something that it differs from many other software and perspective correction software. Like Lightroom can correct perspective quite well but it can't really correct this. A perspective correction. This is the main thing that this software does but as I said Lightroom can do this pretty well. But I think if you have some other falls flaws in the image then viewpoint might be the solution. The way it works you just press auto or that's I think it's a good starting point to press the auto and see what it does. And if the results are not pleasing then you can use manual tools and that could help and, and adjust the sliders so that the image looks the way you want. It's always a good thing to start with the auto and then adjust if needed. 
With the reshape tool you can straighten a part of an image. You have this grid and you have uh, several uh, different grids but for this particular image this grid is totally fine. And then just grabbing these points and adjust so that the water tower is straight or the way I want it to be. So this is another powerful tool where you can reshape a part of an image which you cannot do usually with, with uh, only the perspective tool because it sometimes that just doesn't work. But with this tool you can make it work. Before I show you the most fun tool, a few words about the competition. Well, it starts today, 7th of December, and if you buy something before the end of the year and give your information to DxO, you're eligible to draw where the first prize is a $5,000 slash euros camera and then there is a second prize where they draw three 3,000 euro cameras and then there is a, a third prize. 25 can win a book called The Globe of Paris by Gary Zucker, uh, Zurcher, which is worth about $50. And this is a pretty huge competition, but it requires for you to buy something. You can buy the whole software or make an upgrade and then you need to give your information. If I won, I'm not sure I'm gonna take part because I don't need anything, but I don't know yet. But anyways, what I would pick if I won, it would be either X-T5 or X-H2S. What would the camera be that you pick if you take part and win? What it would be? Please tell us in the comments down below. And then to the fun tool, the miniature effect. Usually this type of effect that you need a tilt shift lens where you tilt the lens and play around with the uh, way the depth of field is kind of leveled or, or usually the depth of field is like this but if you turn the lens it might be like this and when you do that you get this miniature effect which is a lot of fun and with this software you can do that. It's I think the cheapest way to do it and it looks pretty natural and there are some options that you can choose how the how the out of focus area will look. I think this is something fun that you can play around with. Have you ever done this miniature type photographs where the, the place that you take the image looks like it's kind of like a small scale of the whole area. I think it's a lot of fun. Well, what are the, my most used tools? As I said, Lightroom Classic can do pretty well the perspective corrections. But if I need to do some special adjustments like I did showed you with the water tower, then definitely I will use viewpoint and also the volume deformation correction is something that I use every now and then, especially if I have people in the corners of an image taken with a super wide angle. Have you tried Viewpoint 4 and what is your most used uh, tool in that software? Please tell us in the comments down below. As I said, there are some affiliate links to Viewpoint 4 if you want and to other DxO software if you want to get something and take part of the competition or the draw to win some camera gear. And if you're not familiar with DxO software, here are some more videos about it. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.